Hi everyone, this is Graham from Olhyan's AI, and we have an exciting new uh, model that we'd like to share with everyone. It's the Devstroll model that we work together with Mistral to create. And what I want to show you here is how we can use this model uh, completely locally on our computer to create an AI agent that allows us to go in and you know fix bugs or implement features or something. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to download the model. Uh, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can do it through the Hugging Face uh, CLI or just go and download it directly. But I, in the sake of time, I've downloaded the model. So we have it right here and I'll, I'll go into this directory and we can see we have the GGUF uh, format uh, that we can do. And for using the model, I'm going to use LM's LM Studio. And so what we do here is we do LMs import, and then we do the name of the model. And in terms of the name of the model, let us call that um, Devstrel Q4KM uh, GGUF. And so, yeah, this is importing the model. And so I'll do yes. And uh, I will do don't categorize. So great, now I've imported the model into LM Studio. And I'm going to look over here and we can see indeed the model was imported into LM Studio. And so then we can go to the developer settings and select the model to load. And what we will want to do here is we'll want to load it with some custom settings. So I, on the Mac, I hold down the option key and click here, and this gives us some custom settings. The next thing we want to do for context length is we want to make sure the context length is not too long because if it uh, is too long, it might use all the memory of my computer. Uh, but if it's too short, then we won't be able to get all the nice long context that's needed in order to do well at coding tasks. So I'm gonna copy in something about uh, 32,000 here, which is kind of a, a good number that balances this off. So loading in the model now, and this will take a little bit. So once we have the model loaded, uh, the next thing that we need to do is we need to set up some configuration so that you can actually run the model uh, together with open hands with the model as the back end. And we're basically gonna have to run some commands. Uh, the first command that I will run is just uh, exporting the open hands version. The next thing that I will do is I will copy the model name from uh, LM Studio. So I, I just click in here and copy that. And then I do export LM Studio model name. And uh, it's called uncategorized, but it's actually the Devstral model. And then the final thing I want to do is I want to copy in the LM Studio URL. So there we go. And don't worry if you can't follow along with all of this. I will put a link uh, below the video where you can click through and see all of these steps step by step. So the next thing I need to do is I need to get the appropriate version of open hands uh, through a Docker pull. So now I'm pulling this through Docker. Uh, I actually did this before I started the demo to save some time, but it might take you a little bit of time if you do it yourself. And then the final thing uh, before we actually start running the program is I'm going to export some uh, settings uh, so that Open Hands already starts up with the model set by default. So I'm just going to do that there, and that's just a copy paste. Okay, so let's get started. Um, now we're starting up the Open Hands uh, kind of coding agent, and we can click through to this URL that it provided with us, and here we go. So this opens up the repository and I am going to launch something here. And it's uh, starting up the container that we will be using to run the agent in. And this will take a little bit uh, the first time you run it. Okay, and now we can see that the agent is awaiting user input. And so the next thing we need to do is we need to 
come up with a task for the agent to do. So what I would suggest you do here is you just come up with the next kind of coding task that you would be interested in doing. So for me, you know, I'm constantly coding on open hands. So I have this uh, pull request open that I started, but unfortunately it is not passing the tests here. So we have the Python unit tests. And so I will take this PR ID and say, please clone the repo associated with this pull request and check out the branch. Then get started working on running pyunittests.yaml. That's the name of the testing file and fixing any errors. So right now the agent has started working. Again, this will take a little bit of time the first time you run it uh, because it will be reading in uh, kind of the long instruction that the agent is provided with. And it particularly takes a long time on my computer because I have a old Mac M1 processor. So I'll, I'll wait you know, a minute or two for this to boot up. And there it got started. So we can see it's cloning the repository and checking out the branch that it needs to be cloning. And the best part about all of this is we're not using any external uh, API services. Uh, the only thing that we're doing is we're generating directly on my computer. And it's uh, just my Mac M1 using the, the M1 processor. And we can see that uh, you know the, mo the model is running here and all of this was generated with the model. And it's uh, successfully cl cloned the repo. So we can see that I cloned the repo in here. And now it's going to get started on uh, checking out the branch and uh, looking for the, the unit tests. And it is off to the races. So the great part about open hands is uh, it's you know completely local. You can run it on your computer. Typically, we do it through calling an API like Claude or Gemini. But now with the new DevStroll model, you can run it entirely locally on even my you know, several years old computer. And we can you know, work and, and make the models better and better until you know, everybody can have their own coding agent on their computer that does whatever task they want. So I uh, hope you're excited about this as I am. And if you're interested, check the link uh, that you will see in the video and uh, below the video to learn more about open hands and devstral. Thanks a lot.